Hi, my name is Patrick Boyle. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we're going to learn about the terms in the money, at the money and out of the money as they relate to options. And we're also going to learn about intrinsic value and time value in terms of uh, the breakdown of, of options prices. So the first thing we'll talk about is this idea of at the money because at the money is the easiest to understand an at the money option is an option where the strike price of the option is the same as the price of the underlying so if the underlying if there's a stock and it's trading at a hundred dollars and there's an option that has a strike price of a hundred dollars we would refer to that as an at the money uh, option Either a call or a put would be at the money because the strike price is the same as the price of the underlying. So at the money is a fairly easy concept to understand. The next one we'll talk about will, is the term in the money. And an in the money option is an option that is on side, that's sort of profitable for the buyer of the option uh, right now if, if it was exercised. So what I mean by that is if it was a call option, the strike of the option will say if the, if the strike of the option was 100, the underlying might be trading at 105. And so that's an option, a call option that we would say is in the money, or we would say that it's $5 in the money. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Now for put options, because put options become in the money as the price of the underlying falls, um, if the strike of the option was 100, and the underlying was trading at 95, we would say that that put option was $5 in the money. Uh, once again, I hope that makes sense to you. And then finally, the last thing we'll talk about is the, this idea of being out of the money. So an out of the money option is an option that has not yet uh, moved to either being at or in the money. So we'll say once again, if we've got a call option with a strike price of 100 and the underlying is at the moment trading at 95, we would call that an out of the money option because the price of the underlying needs to move up in order for the the option to have value at an expiration so uh, and then obviously once again the opposite would have put option where if the strike of the option is at 100 and the underlying is trading at uh, 105 we would say that that put option is five dollars out of the money so it, it needs to move down five dollars to to 100 to be at the money and it needs to move down even further as a uh, the underlying needs to move down even further to make that put option in the money, um, which is, and, and obviously you would only exercise an option that was in the money. Hopefully that makes sense to everyone. So the next thing then we'll talk about, which is quite tied to this idea, is the idea of intrinsic value and time value. And so a lot of people like to break down the value of an option into, into these two parts of intrinsic value and time value. So the intrinsic value is the amount by which the option is in the money. It's the amount that the option owner, the buyer of that option would receive if the option was exercised right away. Now, note that when we talk about being in the money, at the money, and out of the money, we're in no way talking about the amount of premium that's been paid. We'll get to that later. We're just saying, we're just really talking about the relationship between the price of the underlying and the strike price of the option in question. So intrinsic value being the amount that the option is in the money, um, we it, it would only make sense that the minimum an option could possibly be worth is the intrinsic value, the amount that it is in the money. So we'll say if uh, if we've got an option, it's a call option with a strike price of 100, the underlying is trading at 105. That means that the option gives you the right, but not the obligation to buy the underlying from someone else for 100, even though it's trading at 105 right now. So obviously that has an intrinsic value of $5. Now, in the real world, that option is going to be worth more than $5. And the reason it'll be worth more than $5 is because of time value, because there's still lots of time for that option, for, for the underlying to move up more and make you even more money. And the options contract itself just has 
uh, an obvious value because of the way the payment is truncated so that the the fact that you have sort of unlimited upside and capped downside has value and so the that part of the value the the bit above intrinsic value we refer to as time value so we'll say if that option that we said was five dollars in the money is available in the market for six dollars what we would say is that the option price is made up of five dollars of intrinsic value and one dollar of time value giving us a total value of six dollars which is intrinsic value plus time value hopefully this is helpful to you um, if you're if you like this video or if you'd like to see other videos like it uh, please uh, hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification if you want to be notified when these videos are released and uh, have a great day talk to you later Bye.